homemade eggnog and homemade eggnog in the deep south, which is below I-10, um, we actually cook eggnog. You know what I found out is that people up north, they have eggnog and they don't cook it. And I can't wrap my head around, like, how can you have eggnog and not cook it? Um, what do you mean so cook it? You cook it. You cook down the eggs and you, it's almost like making a custard. We are going to use whole milk. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to turn out to go get whole milk because we end up getting skim milk. So I'm probably going to blend the two, but I'm more of a whole milk person. Eggs. Condensed milk, because we are truly southern. Some special sauce. What? Yeah, I mixed this earlier. Powdered sugar. A little pecan praline. And then we add a little nutmeg, a fresh ground, and a little extract. This one's another secret sauce one, but I happen to get it at Trader Joe's. But it is a vanilla bourbon extract. Really, really good. Ooh. Another thing that is one of those secret things, believe it or not, banana nut flavor. So it kind of enhances that pecan thing. But don't tell anybody. I got it, I got it. Right here, right here, right here. Hold on. Woo! Yeah. Did you get, are you sure you got whole or did you get low fat? No, low fat, whole. Whole milk. Real deal. Okay. Let me see. What's that? Look, gotta use my grandma's bowl. It's a tradition. Yeah, a little one. You're gonna have to stand. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I can. Alright, show. Oh, yes, I'm oh, with the bowl. <laughs> and we're doing the pizza. I love that. Or the pizza. Right? The best. Okay, so I'm gonna do all the milk. So that's a gallon of milk? It's a gallon of How milk. How much eggnog are you going to make? More than a gallon. <laughs> so you're going to use the whole egg. Yep. Right now you're separating the yellow from the white. Yep. Whoops. You're putting the yellow in the milk. Yep. And I'm going to cook that down. When my grandmother would tell me how to cook, it was a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little more of that, mm, about how many, and it was like it was never a precise thing. So when I cook, it's however I feel. Okay, go slowly from there to there. I'm not an actor, but my boyfriend plays one on TV. See? Why do you separate the whites from the yellows? And so that I can froth this. You can't froth it with the white. It's not going to make it like a fluffy thing. And I'm going to fold that. I'm gonna end up folding that in there. When I make eggnog, it has a lump. It has like you're like eating like a custard. It's almost kind of like a tapioca kind of thing. Okay. So you say you're going to froth something. What are you going to froth? I'm going to whip it. Whip. <laughs> Good. Which one are you going to whip? <laughs> I'm going to whisk. One. Which one? I'm gonna whisk this one right here. But then, I'm gonna whip this one. How about that? What are you doing? I'm whisking all those eggs into my milk. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the fire on low. I'm whisking the egg yellows in with the milk. Right. I'm gonna add a little sugar. Here. <laughs> There's this little thing right there called an easy zip. You don't have to cut it any more like a boy. You just go in and then make a zip and you go, ta da! How much sugar are you going to put in? Well, normally I would not measure, but since you're watching me, I'll put a cup or two. Okay. That's like one scoop. Is that a cup? About. And that in there. So am I going to call this an approximation of how to make? Well, baby, any real cook just like does this this way. You saw it. It looks like an about. No, it looked like two cups. Now they make, before you used to have to do these by hand with a key. Now they have these great tops. And I was told never to like lick it, but when we were a kid, that's what we used to do, lick the thing. But then you would like run the potential of like... Cutting yourself. Cutting yourself. What is that? My grandmother put my grandmother, Ruby, 
put condensed milk in everything. So when I make whiskey balls or anything like that, I can promise you, if it says Caro syrup, we put condensed milk. Secret. Right? Okay, so how many, how many are you gonna put in? It's a feel. But you have five of them out. All right, well I might need extra. Or we might go into making whiskey balls after this. Uh, but not on this video, that's a different video. That's a different video. Yeah. What's that? Secret sauce. What's in it? Are you gonna tell me? Yeah, it's whipping cream. I add it. Just because I like it a little thicker. That's all it is, is whipping cream? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Mm. So you have whole milk, condensed milk, and whipping cream. Yep. Twelve dozen, or twelve eggs. Yep. Uh, what's that? Bourbon extract. Okay. Ooh, only a little bit of that. Correct. What's that? This is nutmeg. Oh, look at all that. This looks pretty great in there. I've got to have a little cinnamon with nutmeg. It just goes hand in hand. I think I'm going to do one more can of condensed milk. It has that feel to me right now. <laughs> I'm up to three cans of condensed milk. We might go four, depends. Mm. Dog, that's good. Gotta taste it just to be on the safe side that it's still good. It may not be good anymore. This whiskey goes bad. Mm. Still good. About that much. I'd say it was probably a quarter of a cup. This is actually that whiskey that we got from when we were in Waco, Texas, right? Waco whiskey. What I like about this one is that it's sweet. That's me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna want to taste some of this eggnog later? <laughs> so silly. <laughs> How much of that did you put in? Uh, a little bit more than the other one. Some I'm whisking yeah. this so that way it's blending everything. I'm still cooking it on low. I'm actually not going to go up a little bit, like in between low and medium. How long do you think we've been doing this now? 12 minutes. About yeah, I was about to say 12 15, I think. Okay, so we're going to let this go. Let's go check and see what the other eggs are doing. Okay, this right here is my great-grandmother's bowl. And if my uncles and my aunts find out about it, they're gonna kill me because my grandmother gave it to me. I'm still alive, right? Fantastic, it works. Okay, so make sure you don't start it and then put it in, right? Because that's usually, I wonder why it's going that direction. I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar in this too. Oh, so what I'm doing is just trying to make it to where it's going to be a little thicker right there. All it is is egg white and powdered sugar. And it makes like a froth. Yeah, okay, it's starting to like foam up. Put a little bit more powdered sugar in there. And I'm gonna stir that a little bitty bit. And sometimes you can overbeat your egg whites. Kind of like when you're frothing uh, cappuccino. I think it looks good. I'm um, trying to get more froth now. See how it's starting to get thicker? Trent, 
You want to get the coffee cups? So we're close to being done? Yeah, it doesn't take that long. The whole process takes maybe 30 minutes to cook. Then do you cool it off? No, you serve it hot. Only up north they serve this stuff cold. We serve it hot down south. This was my great grandmother's ladle too. How about that? How cool is that? Even has the thumb on it from like back in the day. Great grandma. Did I tell you my grandmother's 94, so this is really old. This is great grandma's. I'm gonna let that cook for five more minutes, and then I'm gonna fold the meringue in, and then we're gonna let it cook and congeal a little bit, and then we're gonna eat. What are you eating? <laughs> Crawfish and corn soup made by the world famous Mike Allen. It's incredible. I've been eating it since the factory. Do you remember the factory? Who's so Mike Allen? Mike Allen is my father. There should be this great restaurant in Baton Rouge called The Factory. And I think this is one of the recipes from it. I don't know if anybody remembers The Factory. Fantastic. Maybe we'll get Mr. Mike to do this mm -hmm. on another video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. So I am folding meringue in. Just kind of, after you've fluffed it, you don't just kind of like stir it and then stick it in. You just kind of scoop it and fold it on. Wow. And that's the last little bit. Okay. Still cooking on? Medium. So like a little cinnamon. Slide it in. Ooh, I can feel it getting thick. After I fold in the egg whites, I go in and kind of still stirring, but I'm not whisking it or doing anything like that, so I'm not like bruising it. And so what I'm doing is see how it's starting to get a little custardy feeling? Watch. See that? That's that lumpiness that's so yummy whenever you're eating it. Oh my god! It's so good! This is like, when I tell you, the bomb. I'm gonna make it go a little hotter just for a second, just to kind of bring it to, well, we've been kind of bringing it up to an even temperature, because you know it's milk and you can scald milk quickly. So, I'm gonna go up a little hotter for just a minute. Baby, would you like to be the test test? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of scoop down. You serve it in a certain way, too. Make your own. Make your own. Merry Christmas. Make your own. Bye.